Willem van der Slees is headed back to South Africa. Um, is it a bit of a shame that it never quite worked for him here at the Chiefs, never quite broke into the first team? <laughs> yes, yeah, I mean, yes and no. I mean, because ultimately the reason why he hasn't really broken through and been a, a part for a bit of block of games is because of the success of guys like Johnny Hill, um, Sam Skinner coming through. You know, you can't have success with everybody. It's, in, yeah. it's, it's kind of impossible because if, if Will Hammer played all those games and one of those guys wouldn't have. And I think it's it's more of a credit to him that actually he's been part of a process that has seen the club thrive and get to Premiership finals and do well and be at the top end of the Premiership through the regular season. You know, that's the biggest credit to Wilhelm. I mean, in all the challenges he's had of finally getting into the team, he's remained a fantastic squad uh, member, been very popular. When he's been called upon to come in, he's done very well and worked very hard and actually had decent games and very good physical impacts for us. And I think that's that's almost a bigger, as big a credit for him as I can give. You know, just because he didn't break through and play a lot of rugby doesn't mean he's not been here and been successful. You know, he's been a part of what we've achieved as a squad. And I guess the fact that he was South African and non-EQP, did that play a, a role in your mind? Because clearly you're limited to the number of non-English players that you can bring in a squad. And you've got to guess, look for the future and shuffle your pack about who you can and can't have. I mean, a, a little bit. I mean, there was an opportunity to, for Wilhelm to, to stay. Um, potentially, how it would have worked out over the course of the season at the time we were talking, it was hard for me to say. But but he knew there was a potential. There was a potential there. But obviously, he had an opportunity to go home and get a contract um, at a Super Rugby franchise, be closer to home. You know, that, that's yeah. those are the kind of opportunities that also came along for him. And you know, he's he's gone back early, not because we wanted to release Wilhelm, because he came to me and said, look, the old, there's an opportunity for me to take a Super Rugby contract, but they'll want me back before the end of a Premiership season. I, I'd like the opportunity to be able to take it. Are, are you happy to potentially release me early? For us, he's been so good for us, and been such a good character and a good guy around the place. It, was, it would have been unfair for us to try and hold him here um, and not allow him that opportunity. So I'd like to think it's worked out to, to the good for the both, the both of us. We've been able to let a, a good guy go who's worked very hard here. Um, to another club and he's been able to take up a great opportunity for himself and that's kind of how I'd like to think careers should pan out here at the club that the players generally get it that we understand where their career paths are going and that we'll try and help them whenever we can.